everyone. God bless you. We are so happy to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Faith City family, all of our new viewing friends, and some of our new friends from the outreach yesterday up in Philadelphia as well. Welcome. Those in the church, if you please stand with us at this time, we want to open up with a word of prayer as people are coming into the sanctuary. I really believe that God is going to do something tremendous during this hour of power. I believe that one hour with God in worship and prayer and the word can make a significant difference in your life. Now, this is a very interactive hour of power. We would love to get your prayer request. You can do it right now during the praise and the worship. It's so easy. Our prayer ministry team is right over here ready to take your prayer request. If you're watching on Facebook, and if you're in the church, you can do this as well. If you're watching on Facebook, go to the send message or the comment section. On YouTube, the chat section. And we'll get those. They're looking, looking at the screens right now. And we'll get those in our hands and we're going to pray with you. We're going to believe with you that God is able to do it. So get those prayer requests in. Any names of loved ones that need salvation or healing or need a miracle, make sure you get those in. Can we stretch our hands out to one another right now? Father, in the name of Jesus, whether in the sanctuary, whether those of you that are watching right now, we come into agreement. We agree in prayer that this hour will be one that blesses, one that fills, one that addresses concerns, one that heals, one that provides God's miracle power to be released into your life. So we touch and agree that this will be an hour of miracles in the name of God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all God's people said, Amen and amen. Can we give the Lord a praise right now? Give him a praise and let's enjoy the presence of the Lord. Praise the Lord, Faith City. Are you glad to be free this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I was lost, but your mercy found me, called me from darkness. Now I can see I could not make it All the way to you I thank you, Lord Your love never lets me go I will sing, my God Of your great love Telling of the one Who has saved my soul I will shout it out To the mountain you're my freedom song, you're my freedom song. No more chains, no more bondage. I am free, yeah. You are my freedom song. You are my freedom song. Say no more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free, yeah. You are my freedom song. You are my freedom no song. More. No more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free, yeah. You are my freedom no song. No more shackles, no more shackles, no more, no more bondage. I am free. Yeah. You are my freedom song. You are my freedom no. song. No more shackles, no more chains, no more bondage. I am free. Oh, yeah. You are my freedom song. Say. You are my freedom no. song. 
Come on, everybody, clap your hands with the song. Come on, come on, come on. Wherever you are watching right now, put your hands together. Because the Bible said God inhabits the praises of his people. When you praise God, you're inviting God in that room, in that situation. God is there. But when you praise him, he's even there in a greater way. Come on. Mm, you've been better to me than I've been to myself. Yes, oh, oh. Come on, clap your hands. Let me sing. You've been better to me than I've been to myself. Gonna sing it again, Lord Jesus. I got to sing again. You've been better to me than I've been to myself. Come on, get your hands up. Everybody singing along with me. You've been better to me than I've been to myself. Let me hear you sing. Let me hear you sing the song. Oh. You've been better to me than I've been to myself. A little bit louder. Yeah, I got to say, you've been better to me than I've been to myself. Somebody just move from left to right. Let the Lord praise you. Come on. Everybody say, you've been better to me than I've been to myself. Make me wanna praise, make me wanna dance one more time. You've been better to me than I've been to myself. Play that song, Brother Dana. I'll tell you what, I feel somebody watching just got up off the chair. Somebody watching just got up off the couch. They said, you know what? Even though I've been going through COVID-19, even though I've been going through being locked up in the house, even though I got furloughed, I know that God is going to make everything all right. In the name of Jesus, can I hear an amen from somebody right now? I believe we've got some prayer requests. We're going to pray for everybody in the church, but we're going to pray for everybody watching on Facebook and YouTube. And we really believe that God is going to do some miracles. I'm going to ask Brother Harmon if he would come with the prayer ministry box at this time. I want to thank Brother Usher Phil Jefferson for building this prayer box a couple of years ago with his own hands. Give a praise to the Lord for this right now. And we put all these prayer requests, many of them in that prayer box. And I believe since we uh, have been streaming since the uh, beginning of April, only a few months, we have logged in a few thousand prayer requests to the glory of God. That's not about us. That's about people saying, I got the faith. I said it's about people saying, I got the faith that God can turn it around. Brother Harmon, what do we have here first, my brother? All right. Okay. And from this is today. Lord have mercy. This is a, all right. Let's do this. I'm going to ask uh, Sister Crystal, come over here if you would, honey. And, and you're going to hand these to me. I'm going to take them. You're going to hand me one. I'm going to go over it, then I'm going to lay it on the box. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's give Sister Crystal praise the Lord. Amen. I'm glad to see some of our praise team back in the house. Amen. It's been a while. Jessica Davis, please pray for my sister, Deanna. She was rushed to the hospital, unresponsive yesterday. I'm praying for a 24-hour miracle. Amen. Come on. God is able. Uh, this says, Sandra Marquise, pray for my daughter. She went into labor. 26 weeks, my granddaughter is only one pound. God is able to bring that child to full weight. Amen. To honor my son, whose birthday is today, in memory of his passing on 320. Now, oh my goodness. Says, I pledge $100 
toward the outreach ministry because my son loved to help people. This is Leslie M. Christian Mitchell, this gift being given in his memory. Give a big praise to the Lord for her son that's on the other side right now. God love him. Chuck Purnell, major prayer for my eight-year-old son. God knows the reason. Pray for me to be strong during this whole, old, whole ordeal. Chuck, I miss you, buddy, but we're going to be giving it up to God today. God is able. Let somebody shout amen. Cindy, please pray with me that my sister-in-law, Tracy Williams, will be healed of breast cancer. Amen. Debbie Wheeling, please pray for me and my family dealing with having a stroke and arthritis. Uh, Nisi Green, please pray for my daughter, Samantha. How many thank God for all these requests? Kings Park, praying that, praying that, uh, God, that Father God will bless my faith and help me have a home. Amen. A Kenyatta, please pray for Betty's health. A Shah Kiera's business as well. Lift up all my children going back to school. Amen. Uh, Jeanette Longshore, pray for the Connolly family in North Carolina. God grant them peace. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, how many thank God? This, this is a huge response today. People are going to get miracles. Jeanette, uh, God, pour out your spirit. We need you to heal, deliver, and set the captive free. Supply every need in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. What a good word. Carol, I just had gallbladder surgery and doing well, but still standing on God's word for a financial blessing. Eddie, Eddie Lang, asking for prayer for Sandra. Daria, please pray for my family. Pray that God will help me through the struggles of my job. Jackie, Jackie Jacks, please pray for me in need of a full-time job. Please pray for both of my sons, Greg and Justin. Pastor Hare, thank you for all you do. Well, thank you, Jackie, for the word of encouragement, my sister. Thank you. Carol, please pray for me in need of a financial breakthrough. Be, being, applying for a, um, applying for a personal loan and getting roadblocks. Still standing on God's word. I know it's coming. Somebody shout amen. It's on the way. Praise the Lord. Adrian, please pray for breakthrough for my family, my husband and children, and for a door to open with new jobs. Richard uh, says, uh, Halliburton, please pray for my friend Steve, one of my business partners who got very sick. We pray for a speedy recovery. Amen. Angel Santana, pray for my mom, Lisa Santana, and Jackie's mom to get out of the hospital safe and soon. Pray for Mark, who is losing his dad. Oh, my. After losing his dad, may he stay strong. Uh, we've got Anonymous here praying for the wisdom and determination to raise my credit to buy a new home. Praying for wisdom in my relationship and for my marriage. Kenyatta, I, I'm, I'm expecting I will get uh, a, I'm praying to get a driver's license and to be free from all debt. Let somebody shout amen. This says I'm expecting increase in my business. This says Ruth uh, in Philadelphia is watching and she received Christ uh, in, in the outreach. She is homeless and found Jesus as Lord and Savior. Reese, glory, shout somebody with me. Reese said, please pray for my father, Devin. Lord, that stack is so high, I'm going to be here till 5 o'clock reading them. Here's what I feel led to do. Now, here's what I want to do. Brother Harmon, you help me keep this straight because the clock is ticking. It's an hour of power service. But I want to take the rest of these. Thank you. Crystal, thank you, honey. Uh, Brother Harmon, give Sister Crystal a hand. How many know that's a good problem? We get so many requests in that it is hard to read them all. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask Brother Harmon if he would get ready to come. Now, Brother Harmon, I want you to keep me straight, brother. Now, these here, we are going to, if not at the end of the service, Wednesday night, Wednesday, we will continue to call the names out. 
How many know God is able? Yes, he is. We'll finish it on Wednesday. I call that good trouble. I like good problems. Instead of give me your prayer request, and we got a half of one that came in. Here are the ones that we need to spread out with those right now. Let's lay these here. I read those. Let's lay those on top of those. I want everybody in church to stretch your hands out right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. I feel the spirit of God. If it be all right, could I get a couple of the sisters to lay your hands on these right now? Just come up behind here, and I'm going to stand here, and I'm going to pray. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, the praise team, glory, I said the praise team is laying hands on. The Bible said if just two or three agree in prayer, that it shall be done in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for healing. We pray for deliverance. Father, we pray for jobs to open up. We pray for finances. We pray for that baby who is so tiny, 26 weeks old. But God, we pray it will come to full weight in the name of Jesus. God, we pray pray for homes. Uh, we pray for jobs. Uh, we pray for doors to open that nobody can shut. In the name of Jesus, for Richard's friend Steve uh, to be healed in the name of Jesus, uh, to comfort the family saying, I'm sowing a hundred dollar seed to the outreach and memory of my son uh, who's with Jesus. Uh, Lord, you know all about it. Uh, and we lift it up right now and devil take your hands off uh, of God's property in Jesus' name. Uh, and by faith, we receive it. By faith, we call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Can we have a loud praise for these requests right now? Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. God, we praise you. I want you to stretch your hands out to me right now, those in the church, those watching on Facebook and YouTube, and listen, we are a prayer ministry. No prayer, no power. Lots of prayer, lots of power. Go to Facebook, YouTube, continue to get your requests in. Every one of them will be kept and prayed over. Father, right now, I stretch my hands out to everybody in the sanctuary, those that were able to attend today. God, we give you the glory and the praise, and I pray those of you in church if you're sick be healed in the name of Jesus be delivered not only in your body but be healed in your mind right now I pray for emotional healing in the name of Jesus I sense in my spirit some of you have been very stressed you have been worried and COVID-19 and what you see on the news has kind of been stressing you out but I want you to turn it over to Jesus right now I said somebody need to turn it over to him Take a deep breath and let it go right now. And let Jesus have your worry. Let Jesus have your stress. Let Jesus have your pain. God, we thank you for it. And I believe that healing is about to happen. Now, if you don't mind, I want you to place your hand on your heart right now. I believe for miracle healing. I pray that the Lord would heal you every single organ in your body he made you he can fix you from your head down to your feet i pray your heart be normal your kidneys be normal your liver be normal your pancreas be normal i pray for god to heal you because god wants you well i need to say it again god wants you well yes he does satan has come but to kill steal and destroy but God said, I've come to give you life and life more abundantly. Uh, somebody in church, God is healing you now. Somebody watching, God is healing you now. Now I want you to take that same hand and raise it in the air and begin to praise God in advance uh, that the Lord is healing diabetes. Uh, he's healing leukemia. He's healing colon problems. Uh, God is doing a overhaul healing on your body. It in Jesus' name, sleep problems. God is healing that right now. You're going to sleep tonight in the name of Jesus. God is going to give you rest like you've never known it before. God, we give you praise for it in Jesus' mighty name. Give him a wave off him. Give him some praise. The devil is defeated and the devil is a liar. Oh, hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Somebody shout. Shout in church. Shout at home, somebody. Praise God, praise God. And now for the greatest miracle of all, we want to make sure that everybody is ready for eternity. When I read that request, 
of the dear lady saying, I want to uh, sow $100 seed to the outreach ministry in memory of my son who's on the other side. Thank God. Thank God. When your loved one knows Jesus, it's not goodbye forever. But there's only one way to heaven, and his name is Jesus. I want to invite everybody in the church and everybody watching to pray this prayer. We want to make sure that Christ is the Lord of your life. Joining a church, and we'd love to have you. We, listen, soon the media members will be coming up. You'll be even able to join online. But joining a church will not save you. Jesus saves you. And if you will pray this prayer right now, I'm going to ask our worship team to repeat it with me. I want the church to repeat it. We want to make sure everybody is saved. Are you ready? Everybody say, Jesus, right now, I believe you died on the cross for all my sins. I confess my sin. I ask you to come into my heart and to wash my sin away. I receive you right now as my Lord and Savior. I confess with my mouth you died on the cross and I am saved. I am saved. Thank God I'm saved. I know I'm saved. Amen. Let's give the Lord a praise. There it is. That great miracle has just happened. Those of you in church, you may be seated. God bless you. Those of you watching, Faith City family and new friends, we welcome you. We love you. And God bless you. Can we give a, let's give a loud praise for our praise and worship ministry. So good to see more of them back in the house of the Lord as we're making and seeing some more folks coming to the church. Thank God Almighty. I know it's a process. We know that it is. But praise God, the church doors are open, whether in person, whether in your car or in the church parking lot, or on Facebook or YouTube, we are worshiping the Lord together. Well, we come to that point of the service where we get the privilege and the opportunity to be able to give to the spreading of the gospel. And I am hoping that these verses will encourage you to know that whatever that you do, for God is never forgotten and it's never wasted. What you give, it will be given back to you. I'd like to read a few verses to encourage us today. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse number 11. This word of encouragement says, Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. In other words, you're generous. God will keep being generous to you. And when we take your gifts to those who need them, that's outreach, the homeless, the hurting, they will also thank God. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse number 16, it says, giving a gift, an offering, a tithe can open doors. It gives access to important people. I'm telling you, you sow into the kingdom, God can open up miraculous opportunities. And then in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse number 10, it says, For God is the one who provides seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. Everything we have comes from God. In the same way, he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. I also would like to read Isaiah chapter 58, verse 10. This encourages us when we're hurting, we need to help others that are hurting. When things are tight, we need to still sow and give because when we help the hurting, God will help us. If you draw out your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light, your light rise in obscurity and thy darkness will be as the noonday. The next verse says, the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and make fat your bones. And you will be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. You can't outgive the Lord. My final verse, I want to read in Malachi chapter 3, verse number 10. Be bring all the tithes into the storehouse so that there will be enough food in my temple 
If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I'm reading Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour you out a blessing. It'll be so great, you won't have enough room to take it in. And God said, why don't you try it? Put me to the test. We're hoping today on this Labor Day weekend, when some are traveling, visiting, I hope with the highest of precautions that you will help the, the ministry continue on and that we'll be able to stay financially strong during the holiday weekend. Yesterday, the summer of salvation, as summer is coming to a close, was out on the streets. Brother Harmon and the team, go out with us right now. Let's walk together less than 24 hours ago as the team went to the homeless, talking to people that have nowhere to go, loving on them, listening to them, giving them packages of love, PPE material. They went to Tent City, as you can see. Part of Tent City, you can see it there. People, no place to lay their head. Bibles, English, Spanish, children's Bibles. Praise the Lord, packages of love and the all-important sleeping bag and sleeping pallets. This could literally save their lives so they're not sleeping on the damp, wet grass. To God be the glory. The team going in there to them and beginning to get into circles of prayer and they begin to open up. God knows who that dear lady is and they begin to pray. This lady opens up and you see, when you're real, when you're authentic, you're not there pushing a church, but you're pushing a Savior. Here comes the harvest. Every package of love, food, gospel tracts, a cross necklace. Many of them just want somebody to say, I care. I, I matter. You see, if Jesus was there, I believe he would hug every one of them. I believe he would talk to them. I believe he would tell them everything's going to be all right. The team continues there in Tent City. And their sister Green, she's taking over another package of love to somebody that needs it. And there's another team member just talking to somebody on that old piece of furniture, getting their prayer request. We brought back many, many prayer request. Brother Harmon, I, I see you there. If you can just get the stack and, and, and put it in my hand, there's some more sleeping pallets and sleeping bags. Jesus said, blessed are they who consider the poor. The Lord, thank you, brother, will deliver them in times of trouble. They always say, look at her reading that Bible that we gave her right away. We didn't have to ask her, didn't have to beg her to read it. She said, thank you, started reading her new Bible. Jesus said, let, let the people come unto me. It was beautiful. The atmosphere changed. There's some of our Hispanic Latino friends, and they got Hispanic Bibles and things that they could understand. How many know Jesus is for everybody? Yes, he is. Brother Harmon turned on that Bluetooth speaker and started playing gospel music and they started the little boys then the girls and they were starting to move to the gospel not the devil music the gospel music clapping their hands and turning tent city into a church come on say amen into a place of worship I believe this is the work that's on the heart of God that dear man on the crutches and God knows whoever that dear, precious lady is. And they're, look at them, they're all dancing to the sound of the gospel. Yes, if Jesus had a church, he'd take it to the people. There's that dear woman singing along, holding her little boy to her side. I think, Charlie, that was the lady you told me about that her sister had died. And you found the song from the funeral, and she sang it. Pastor, why do you show me all of this? 
Because I just want to remind you that no matter how bad you have it or I have it, there's always some, look at that little boy's new Bible book. There's always somebody else that has it worse off than you do. Let's be thankful. And there they are praying. Oh, God bless them. Huh? Somebody praise the Lord. I feel the Spirit of God on this right now. Jesus said, let them come unto me. Whosoever will may come. Thank you, Jesus. I'm showing it to you so that you can help keep this outreach for Christ. Keep it alive. I know the clock is ticking and showing you some more people there. Young man on the bike, everything he owns on the bicycle. But in my hand are some of the requests from yesterday. Jesus, help these people. Many of them, it's about health. and This man, about his disability. and Sometimes people that are in these tent cities, a year ago they had real jobs making real money. How many know we all could end up in a tent city without the mercy of Almighty God? Pastor, you showing me this today because you're praying that I'll be generous. Yes, I am. I really am. And you know, it would really be nice because we've made a long-term commitment. Brother Harmon, you're my witness. Since COVID-19, have we missed one month of doing outreach? Not one. Why? Because people say, I... I'm paying my tithes. I'm giving my offerings. Because I like what you all do out there. And you don't go in the name of a church. That's I tell them, don't you ever say the name of the church. This is all from Jesus Christ. He is the answer. Would you give your tithe today? Would you be willing to sow some outreach offerings? It's been about six weeks since I asked for some difference makers. You might say, what's a difference maker? Explain it. A difference maker is like the mother giving the $100 in honor of her son that died. She said, I want to give it in my son's name, Mitchell, for the outreach. We sure could use about 20 or 30 of those right now. But I'm going to pray. And I'm going to ask if you would to give your tithe and the best offerings that you can. And then we'll show you the ways to give. God, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to say this prayer, Lord, before I share the giving options. And God, I pray that people will say, Pastor, I get it. I know it's a holiday weekend. I know the church is committed to outreach. And even though I can't go, I can't go to Tent City. I can't go out on the street. But I do know I can participate by sending you all making sure you have what you need give us a blessing in Jesus name amen some of the ways that you can give let me share them very quickly with you you can text to give simply use that number it will take you to a link a secure giving link very effective very easy you can use cash app many like to do that as well. The dollar sign, Faith City FC2, lower or uppercase, doesn't matter. But you must add the dollar sign and faithcitynow.com. Another very easy, convenient way to give. Or if you'd like, you can send it right to the church. Your tithes and special outreach offerings, Faith City Family Church. 179 Stanton Christiana Road, Newark, Delaware, 19702. 179 Stanton Christiana Road, Newark, Delaware, 19702. I'll be back in just a moment. Those of you in the sanctuary, if you need an envelope, you just raise your hand. One of our kind ushers will make sure that you'd have one. Thank you, and God bless you.
Once again, we want to say thank you to everyone from the bottom of our hearts. Those of you attending today, let's give those of all those on Facebook and YouTube, give them an idea. Brother Chris, work with those audience mics a second. On the count of three, let's give a loud praise in the church. Are you ready? Are you ready? Get your hands ready. One, two, three. Give him a praise. Keep it going. Come on, loud. I want them to hear it watching. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. One more time, give him a loud praise. Amen and amen. Yes, I wanted you to know for sure, proof positive, the church is open again. And for those who feel they're able to come, you are welcome Sundays, 9, 11, Wednesdays at 7. Also want to remind you to stay encouraged with the best in gospel music and the word of God on Reach Gospel Radio 24-7. Download our free app as well for the station nearest you. Praise the Lord. You can go to reachgospelradio.com. And may I give God all glory and praise at Reach Gospel Radio. The ministry just won its first stellar award. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you so very much. 35 months old, Reach Gospel Radio. Thank you to everyone who voted and the Stellars, Don Jackson, and we appreciate it. We just ask God, use this influence to reach more people. We're in the middle of starting a series right now, which is entitled Foundations of a Strong Christian Faith. We're going to be doing this series every single Sunday in September. Because we felt the urge and the urgency to make sure that our faith is on a firm foundation. That our faith is extremely strong. Because I can only speak for myself. During this pandemic, during all of the things going on in our world, the many things we see on the news, my faith is being tested. My faith is good, but it's being tested. And how many could raise your hand in church and say, amen, my faith has been tried a day here and a day there in COVID-19. It has not been easy. But today, I believe that this is going to bless you and me. I really felt to start the series out just like this, Foundations of a Strong Christian Faith, with this theme today, what we believe and why we believe it. In Isaiah chapter 43, Beginning with verse 10, it says, You are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Verse 11 goes on to say, I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior, that ye may know and believe. God wants us to know what we believe and why we believe it so our faith will be strong. There are many messages and many counterfeits out there that are almost right. But listen, you don't get to heaven being almost saved. You get to heaven being all the way saved. And you don't make it on almost truth. You make it on absolute truth. So first of all, Let's look at what we, we believe concerning God, about God. First of all, concerning God. We believe that God is the creator and ruler of the universe. The reason we believe this is John chapter 1, verse number 3. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In Psalm chapter 33, verse number 6, By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. We don't believe in the Big Bang Theory. We don't believe that, that uh, uh, some planets exploded, and it's all just a bunch of foolishness. And we believe that God created the heavens and the earth. Give him a praise. We need our children to know that. 
Also about God, we believe that God has eternally existed in three personalities, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The three are co-equal and are one God. The reason we believe this is because the Bible says in Matthew chapter 28, verse number 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. So about God, we believe that God is a creator and ruler of the universe, that God has eternally existed in three personalities, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then about what we believe, secondly, about Jesus Christ. We believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and is co-equal with God the Father. In Titus chapter 2, verse 13, we believe this because the Bible says, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and, dual titles, the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and is co-equal with God the Father because of John 10, verse 30. And Jesus said, quote, I and my Father are one. About Jesus Christ in our series, Foundations of a Strong Christian Faith, we believe that Jesus lived a sinless human life and offered himself as a perfect sacrifice for the sins of all people by dying on the cross for our sins. We believe this because Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14 says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, what's his name? Shout it, somebody. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our profession. We believe that Jesus lived a sinless human life, offered himself as the perfect sacrifice for sin by dying on the cross. Why? Because the Bible says in John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that would be Jesus, that whosoever believeth in him, Jesus, should not perish but have everlasting life. I'm not trying to offend or upset anyone, but there's only one way to heaven. There are not five. There are not seven. There are not two messiahs. And to my Muslim brothers and sisters, Jesus was not just a prophet. He was the son of the living God. You mix it up and you put it in your book that he is a good man. He is a prophet. He did good things. No, he is God and was God in the flesh. And Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, not Mohammed, not Buddha, not anybody else. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father except by me. Somebody watching, somebody in church, you need to get your feet on a firm foundation. And when somebody comes knocking on your door, working your neighborhood, you need to send them away politely by saying, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Don't waste your time at my house. If you'd like to come in, let me pray for you to get saved. Can I hear an amen from someone? About Jesus Christ, we also believe that Jesus arose from the dead. And it was after three days that he was dead. He came back. And he did this to demonstrate his power over sin and death. To other religions that might be watching, to other cults that might hear this, Jesus is the only religious leader that ever died and came back from the dead. You can go to other religious leaders and you can go to their grave. You can see their tombstone. But the grave of Jesus is empty. He is not there. He's on the right hand of God interceding for us. I need a praise God from somebody. You need to know what you believe and why you believe it. 
Why do we believe this? Because of St. John chapter 2, verse 19. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple. Take my life. Go ahead. And he said, nobody really took it. He said, I lay it down. He said, in three days, I will raise it back up again. We believe this because of Acts chapter 10, verse 40. Him, God, Jesus, God raised up the third day and showed him, Jesus, openly to everyone. We believe this because of Romans chapter 8, verse 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up, what's his name? Jesus from the dead dwell in you. He that raised up Christ from the dead, says it twice, shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. What else do we believe about Jesus is this. We believe that Jesus ascended into heaven's glory and will return again someday to earth to reign as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. One day, he's coming back again. Right now, he is seated at the right hand of God. But it says one day he's coming back on a great white horse with all the saints of God and he's going to set up a new heaven and a new earth and a new Jerusalem. Can I get some amens? How many are glad you're saved today? You're a part of the program. In Acts chapter 1 verse 11, we believe this because the Bible says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. We believe this because of Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Behold he, Jesus, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so, amen. That's why we believe every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Is there an amen from somebody? But I'm so glad that not only will I bow then, but praise the Lord, I've already bowed before. I'm serving Jesus right now. And so we are starting our series, Foundations of, the strong, of a Strong Christian Faith. I don't want you to miss it next Sunday as we will enter into what we believe about the Holy Spirit. Listen, there are some Christians, they're good people. I believe they're saved, but if you ask them over at the mall somewhere, why do you believe? They couldn't give you a verse. They couldn't give you a reason. Listen, no disrespect, but you can't just be saved because your mother's saved or your uncle's saved. You need to know what you believe and why you believe it. Can I get a loud praise the Lord in this church right now? Amen. And so as our musicians are coming, I'm going to ask that the Lord would take his word that has been sown into you. I hope you'll watch this again on the Facebook and YouTube rewinds that we do in a seven-day period. I give God praise that I think it was the week before, Brother Al, you told me in the seven-day cycle of the church rewinds of the services, we had over 18,000 views to God be the glory. And let's keep getting more views. Like us on Facebook. Tell your friends to tune in. But I want to ask you, if you could, in the church sanctuary, would you stand with us at this time? And I want us to stretch our hands out to one another. If there are any other prayer requests, Brother Harmon will place them in my hand and they will, or Sister April, either one of them, and that we, they will be called out this Wednesday at 7 for the next hour of power. Let us stretch our hands out to one another right now. Thank you, my precious brother. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over every single one of us today. We're living in a world where people don't even believe in God. They don't even believe that Jesus is the Son of God. But Lord, I believe, and I am not going to be ashamed 
I'm going to let my little light shine. Hallelujah. And I pray that the Lord will make you bold when so when somebody says, why are you a Christian? Why do you believe in Jesus? You can open up your mouth in Christian love and tell them why you believe like you believe. I pray the Lord will bless you and keep you. I pray the Lord will make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. I pray the Lord will lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. And know these hand, these other requests listed on these cards, I hold them up to God right now. Lord, address every need, every sickness, every situation. And I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all God's people said, Amen. Let's give the Lord a praise. Thank you for being with us in our hour of power. God bless you. Amen.